Time now for another training tip from seven-time Grand Slam winner, Jamie Murray. Okay, so when practicing my first volley, there is three positions that I can do it from. Each setup requires a different amount of athleticism. So I can obviously practice my first volley just from regular, if we're doing a regular formation where I'm just serving and coming in and playing the, playing the volley like this. Or I can do the backhand volley starting from I formation, as if I've served from I formation. So I'm starting from here. And then finally, I can practice my first volley uh, from a planned poach play. So in this instance, I'm serving on the ad court. My partner's going to return down the line, and I'm going to come across and play my first volley down the line. Like that. Okay, so depending on the formation that you've decided, the tactic that you're trying to implement on that point will influence uh, a lot where you're going to target your first volley. If you kind of tend to play regular formations, most of your volleys will probably be getting aimed cross court. Whereas if you're starting to use eye formations and looking to poach on your serve, often the volley that you will be playing uh, for your first volley will be down the line. So it's important that I practice um, the three different types of, of, uh, of movement for those volleys. And obviously, if I'm playing my first volley cross court, my movement after, I'm going to move to the middle line. But if I'm volleying down the line, then I'm probably just going to move straight forward to get into the optimal position for the rest of the point. When I'm practicing my backhand volley as a first volley, it's important that I practice it from the three different positions that I do it from. When I'm playing a regular formation, more often than not, I'm going to be volleying cross court as a first volley. So I'm going to come in here, keeping my right hand in front, down low, playing the volley, and then I'm going to cut to position here. If I'm simulating a eye formation or a planned poach. Um, I'm going to come in and I'm going to play my volley down the line. So again, I'm going to come here, play down the line, and then I'm going to get to this position. And that's the ideal position for, for me. My partner will be in the middle for us to continue on in the point. What am I focusing on when I'm playing my backhand volley. I am trying to have a good trajectory on the ball and uh, trying to volley into the correct part of the court. So in order to keep my trajectory consistent, uh, I need a good stable racket head. So in, able to do, in order to do that, I, uh, I want to be leading with my right hand in front. I want to be getting low with my outside foot and then I want to be volleying with my leg. It's very important that I use this leg to keep the racket head stable. I don't want to be using my arm around because that's going to lead to an inconsistent contact, inconsistent trajectory. So it's important that I get down here. My arm's barely moving. <laughs> 